company this is Kathy from Cat Talk Create and welcome back again to our channel so I was doing some sewing today finally started doing some sewing and I had been earlier this week I had actually done this cute cute little rose oh sorry you guys um flower and I thought it was so cute and it's it's thick there you go um so i want to do see if i could do it out of crepe paper and you could pretty much kind of do it um yeah you can do it um it just i thought this was better than this um because it actually stiff and rosette is the yeah the crepe paper kind of like uh, smashes though if you Plucker it out and do some adjustments to it. Maybe put some uh, triple thick on it. It might work. Anyways, so my inspiration was this little flower. And I was like, what? How can I make this? How can I make this? How can I make this out of this? Can I make it? Let's try it. So I went ahead and I have these cupcake liners. These leftover cupcake liners. And all I did was fold it in half. The thing was I was trying to make rosettes out of crepe paper and it's it's hard for me. It's a really hard process for me. So how did I end up doing this? So I actually squished it all up because I was really upset <laughs> after doing, trying to make a rosette. I squished it up and I was like, uh, so let's try something different. So that's what I had and when I did. I went ahead and scrunched it up, scrunched it up, scrunched it up, and so you, you're left with this, right? So you don't see all the creases from the uh, cupcake liner, it's just extra nice, paper, like basically paper. So what did I do? I went ahead and cut it in half, or not cut it in half, folded it in half. I went ahead and trolled this around a few times. And there you go and then what I did from here I actually did like kind of like um, I guess you would do the paper roll set so I went ahead and pinched it pinched it and pinched it in here I hope you guys could see that pinched it in here and pinched it in here and voila and basically you just fix it um, do any adjustments you might want to it. Okay, so these are my last leftover uh, cupcake liners. So there we go. Did it like this. So I have this, this right here left over, right? So what did I want to go ahead and do? I got some, um, oh my goodness, thread. And I went in as deep as I could and I went ahead and just trolled it up or tied it on really, really tight. You wanna do it tight. Be careful with your fingers because thread can actually cut you in your um, creases. So just be very careful because I've had that happen and it's not a good feeling. So go ahead and twist it and then you tie a knot. So you're gonna end up squishing your whole flower. And then you basically tie it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to tie it. You know, when you're on camera, it's pretty hard to tie stuff because you're on camera. You're tr you're trying to do it in an audience, and it's kind of hard sometimes. So let's go ahead and try this. Uh, uh, and yeah, you can't get it right. That's when you can't get it. So. Um, nice way to use your cupcake liners if you have any cup cupcake liners out there and there you go and it's up to you how many knots you want to do I usually do about three and then what I did is you cut the thread and then what I did here is I cut it don't cut when you cut it cut like a little I guess it's one eighth of where you had this 
then I push it in. You could put some um, hot glue so that way it doesn't undo just in case you're a little iffy about that. That's probably what I'm going to do. And then you open them up and then you can play with them and settle it in. And hopefully you get your flower. Hopefully I get mine. Um, excuse me, you guys. I'm trying to work with this. And just play with it, you know. It's not going to come out perfect, perfect as soon as you have it done. And you have to play with it. And what do you guys think? Here you go. Oh my goodness, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. So if you have... There you go. You could put them together. Um, you could do that. And there you go. Oops, sorry, you guys. So there you go. Um, give it a try if you want. If you want, give it a try. Let me know how it worked out for you. But I thought these came out so cute. These are done from cupcake liners, as this is done uh, from a crepe paper. If you guys want a tutorial on how I did the crepe paper. I might have to play with it a little bit more, see if uh, triple thick will work so it can make it stiffer. But these are really stiff and I like how they came out. Well, anyways, thank you everybody for taking the time to watch and we'll see you guys on our next video. Bye for now.